Uh, yeah. Now, anyone who's seen my single-player videos will have a bit of a deja vu. Okay, so I'm not very original. What of it? It looked awesome. It looked, it looked awesome the first time. It'll look awesome the second time. And that, by the way, is... That right there is a nameless graveyard. That is a named graveyard. Both of which I still need to encase in glass. If for some strange reason you didn't know already, I do use a lot of glass. But I... Did very. The fences do look good, but... I died once like that. Never again. The fences here do look good, but... It's kinda just, you know, expensive. This took like 18 stacks of logs. Ah, uh, yes, I missed a sign. And I completely forgot what this... Ah, yes, now I remember. Also, notice the torch pattern. Yeah. This, gentlemen, is the Isle of Drowned Sand. Why? Move! You say move all the time? Move! Ugh, stupid cow. This is why. Because this is where I get all my sand. You fill this area with gravel. Then you dig. And you get this. Loads of sand. It isn't as fast as just taking a diamond shovel or two to a desert. But it does work. And it's relatively safe. No sheep. Thank you, sheep. Okay. Are you noticing a pattern? Uh, sugar cane. It's so annoying to collect. Anyway, there are a few attractions here. First of which, fish you've seen before. Is down here in this freaking deaf area. What the hell is all that noise? Any slimes here? The slimes have mysteriously disappeared. Or not. Okay. This, gentlemen, is the biggest obsidian farm I have ever built. Of course, now with all the invincible and deaf slimes, I can actually use it. That is so tempting, I'm not gonna try that. Oh god. Run. Don't want to walk all the way back here again. Oh no, it's a slime. Oh god! Oh god, run! One of these days, Notch is going to fix those slimes and I'll be able to actually use that obsidian farm. Yep, I hear noise. Hopefully the mic doesn't pick it up. Oh, who am I kidding? This mic is pathetic. Uh, where do I put this crap? I just put it in here. Ignore this.
Okay. Uh, harvesting sugar cane, harvesting sugar cane. As you can see, I do tend to harvest it. Anyways, let's first go to the mini grove. Yes, the mini grove. Look, I built this entire thing down to the Tower of the Hanged Man and those two altars. Again, what made you think the name would be any more original? Let me try to replicate the little area here next to the library, but I don't think I succeeded. P.S. Library. Here's that archery range. But I wanted to build in a sacred grove, but alas, I didn't have the space. Please note, I have yet to build it fully. The same could be said for... Oh yeah, Death Tower. I'd complain about the guy making a sound, but let's be honest here, it's not like, a, like I'm saying a lot of useful things. Um, should I go in here or not? Yes. Because this is awesome. As is this. I had to do something with all that gold. Damn. Damn. Uh, doors. You are the bane of my existence. Are you just sidestepping or whatever? Never mind. Mm -hmm. well, let's take a quick trip to the graveyard. Both of them. As you can see, I still have to glass this. But I'm kind of running out of sand. And here you have the many, many completely nameless graves. With weed. I couldn't think of anything better. Whatever. So, yeah. That's pretty much what I've been building for the past. Well, pretty much over... S pretty much since I stopped... Or rather, finished working on the Sacred Grove. Which, by the way, is no longer playable because... The leaf upgrade update, update to the leaves, makes that area lag like shit. Oh well. I still have it saved, of course, but that's pretty much it. Ugh, and after yet another sugarcane round, I'm gonna cut it here. And when we come back, more of this. Be right back. Just checking which button I press. I don't want to press the die game die button. <laughs> 